well, here we are with this dying magpie. It would appear that it's been exposed to agricultural chemicals from the farm next door. It's only 10 metres from uh, these people's home. They're spraying these chemicals. You see what it's doing to the wildlife. Well, that's the house there. Where's the igloos? Right. From there to there. What's that? 10 metres from the fence line. As you can see, one of the Maggies just there now. Having a pluck away, I don't know what it's at. Doesn't look real bloody good either, actually. At this stage, all we're asking is, please, no more of these developments in the middle of our residential estate. This has been a res residential estate for 30 years. It was built as a residential estate. They shouldn't be running these commercial enterprises right in the midst of our home. Department of Environment and Resource Management already came this morning and collected, I believe, four or five birds. And there's another one dead here, there's another one dying. And uh, the owner of this property's seen that there's another one flapping around down the back. Queensland Government has guidelines saying they shouldn't be spraying chemicals within 300 metres of people's homes. Here we have it being sprayed 10 metres from the neighbour's home. That's me buffer zone. That's I'm serious. That's me buffer zone. That's me buffer zone. That's works. Works bloody beautiful. Today we've got this example of lots and lots and lots of dead birds. Dead birds flopping around, dying in front of our eyes, bleeding from every orifice. And the bird deaths occur immediately after large spraying operations. I'm told that these people next door were spraying from 10 o'clock to about 1 o'clock in the morning over the last three nights and now we have multiple dead birds lying around the place, birds flopping around in the process of dying. These people next door built these uh, greenhouses illegally. In other words, they put the greenhouses up without any council approval. It was only when, when we, the concerned residents, brought it to council's notice that they came out, inspected the place, and their response was, get building approval. Nothing to do with setting in place controls to separate and make sure that appropriate gardening practices were put in place. Why isn't council in doing anything about it? Didn't we claw another two birds that's died? And hopefully we can get something sorted out before one of my kids choke it. Four birds? Four birds? Five birds. Have, have gone for toxicology yep. Hello. examination. Uh, that's well. I've got another two birds, mate, uh, here for you to pick up. Oh, okay. I've got uh, Jim Boomer times here too. Another, another two. I've put them in a box. They're just about ready to die now. If we can get somebody to pick them up. Do we actually have to have people dying in the streets before someone, not just council, someone will do something about the inappropriate gardening practices, agricultural practice? Um, spraying of noxious chemicals. We drink the water that we collect from our roofs, but council absolutely refuses in the sense that they don't do anything. Council has done nothing to get these people under control and try to make the place safe for residents. We live here, council members don't, and maybe that's the problem. My name's Liz, I live in this area. Uh, like a lot of the people who live here, we're very concerned about what's going on with the clearing of habitat and the poisoning of animals and birds. Uh, it's pretty clear over the last six years or so that nobody really seems to know what chemicals these farmers are using. They insist they're using the right ones and wave around their piece of paper to show they went to a course. But um, we're still having trouble. Every time these local farmers uh, decide to spray, people, people's animals get sick, birds are dropping from the sky. When is the council going to do something about this? Do people actually have to die before something will be done? All I know is birds are dropping left, right and centre. I don't know if it's got anything to do with them, but it's something. As soon as they get the test back, we'll be laughing, we'll be able to find out. We've discussed this and raised this issue with Logan City Council a number of times and said, this is a planning issue. You guys need to sort this out, that these farms are appropriately located. To date, they've been very slow to respond, and at this stage, all we're asking is, please, no more of these developments in the middle of our residential estate.